Welcome to you in Stoa Break Time. There's been a lot happening in the world of Unified lately. 17.7 is just out, and in this episode, we'll show you some of the highlights so you don't miss out. From the usual UI tweaks to significant changes in the way users interact with the product, functionality improvements, and some impressive changes to the administration tools that have a big impact on all existing and new Unifier clients. So let's get straight into it. A few versions ago, we lost our beloved advanced log from our BPs. But now it's been replaced with something even better, the new views and search tools capability. Well, maybe. The test log can now show if a record has been approved or not. One click can accept or unaccept straight from the log. Record preview means no more pop-up windows, and there's even more bulk action options. You can also switch between classic and standard view. The schedulers out there will be familiar with this one. So the switch away from the advanced log and saved searches to a new views capability. Instead of a predefined admin configuration, essentially we now have a user side configurable tool set. What's this mean? Well, as I'm recording this, we've still not had enough time to quantify the impact. This is a big shift in the way that users interact with the product day to day, hour to hour. You can expect a follow up video to focus on it. So watch this space. Moving swiftly on, they finally moved the workflow action to the right side. I mean, from the right to the left side, you know what I mean. It also auto selects the action if there's only one to pick and that makes perfect sense to me. For anyone who's got hours under the belt entering data and still has to do it on occasion, the addition of a sneaky button in the new line item window allows you to save a line then go straight into adding another without multiple clicks and windows getting in the way of the next entry. Bulk action and bulk edit are often seen as power user functions and they shouldn't be. New changes make it a little more user friendly. In bulk action, you get a nice preview on the left instead of tens, hundreds, thousands of pop-ups. You only make that mistake once. Records and their status are on the right. For bulk edit, on the left you get the fields from the upper and detailed forms. And again, on the right, a status of the update. Nice. Document management changes. Same enhancements are seen in the tasks and BP process logs, including actions, views, and search. Folders and docs all sit in the same tree structure, just like in Windows or the Mac Finder. And there's a properties panel on the right, meaning less clicks and windows. Into the new admin tools. And first, the ability to reassign tasks for inactive users. Previously managing this was a real pain in that you know what. A new task reassignment tool has appeared under user administration that should take the pain away. Bye bye configuration packages. Hello, configuration package management. It's a nice improvement though. No more tagging components to build a package. Now you use component lists. It takes certain manual aspects away, simplifying the configuration process. On the face of it, it just seems easier. Finally, environment designation. This is a big one. In the past, we only ever had two types of environment. Development was where you designed and configured Unifier and production that received the published configuration. Simple. But now there's a third option, a test environment, and it cannot publish configuration. So why is that important? For organizations with more than two environments, you would usually see multiple development environments with a single production instance. The problem with that, well, configuration can be published from multiple sources and you can get in a pickle very quickly. This new test environment type can now be used for all non-dev or prod environments and named something like testing, UAT, pre-prod, whatever you like. This now enforces a single path for configuration to flow through. We really, really like this. So like I said at the beginning, life moves pretty fast in the Unifier world. You don't stop back here and look around once in a while. You could miss it. If you're not already, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.
You're still here? Break time's over. Get back to work. Go. Oh, oh.